Markovnikov's rule is a method of determining how to add hydrogen halides and in some cases water across unsymmetrical alkenes. The rule is fairly simple, basically saying that the hydrogen ion will go towards the carbon atom with more hydrogens attached to it and the other ion will go towards the one with less, giving us 2 bromopropane in this example. This rule was first discovered by Vladimir Vasilyevich Markovnikov in 1869, but he couldn't really explain the mechanism behind it. That work was done by Morris Selig Karaj in 1933, who was also credited for discovering anti Markovnikov addition, which I may cover in another video. The mechanism consists of three steps the formation of an electrophile, the formation of a carbocation by an attack from the electrophile and the attack of a nucleophile on said carbocation. Let's take for example a hydrogen halide, denoted here as HX. In this molecule, we have a really electropositive element and a really electronegative element, which basically means that the latter is more hungry for electrons than the former. This results in the halide pulling an electron from hydrogen due to what's known as the inductive effect. And this creates what are known as partial charges, which ultimately lead to the formation of two ions. The ion on the left here, that's our electrophile. Let's say we want to add our electrophile to propane. Now the electrophile can go along two paths, attacking this vanillic carbon or this one. In the first case, we can see that it creates a first-degree carbocation. Side note, primarily due to the inductive effect, carbocations decrease in stability with a decrease in the number of carbon atoms the cationic carbon is attached to, which is also known as the decree of the carbocation. Let's take a look at the second path now. We can see that we get a second-degree carbocation which if you recall is inherently more stable than a first degree carbocation. Thus, we get more of the second type rather than the first. This characteristic of a reaction to pick one option out of many is known as regioselectivity. Now that we have our carbocation, all that's left is to plug in our remaining nucleophile to the cationic carbon, which here is the second one. And that's it. We have a product from the beginning. That's Markovnikov's rule in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.